Hi, I'm Steve Wells and this is Set for Life and we're about how to use simple energy techniques to enhance your life and achieve your life goals. Uh, so if you know the basic tapping points of Set, today is how you apply Set to issues and challenges and problems. So the first thing is to just start tapping. And any time that you are aware of a problem or become aware of a problem, you can apply the tapping. And you can use the tapping for first aid. Now, obviously, you're not going to walk down the streets and be tapping on these points. Um, you can use the finger points discreetly when you're in situations out in public where the problem comes up. Uh, but you can also treat the problem at home. And there's a couple of ways that you can do that. One is that you can focus on the problem directly. Another way is that you can just get the tapping happening. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in another session. But we've essentially, we've realised that the more tapping you do, the more your primitive alarm system calms down and your nervous system actually adjusts so that things that used to stir you up before don't stir you up. So in essence, get some tapping happening into your day. Um, use the tapping for first aid. And then when you want to focus on a problem, here's what you do. First of all, how are you aware that you have the problem? Focus on that and just start tapping. So, is it a feeling in your body that you have? If you do have a feeling in your body, let's say for example you have a constriction in your chest that you can feel, just put your attention on that area and just tap on the set points. And all you need to do is to follow what happens next. So, as I do that, I'm actually noticing that because I'm focusing on this area, as I tap, my chest kind of starts to open up and that constriction starts to move and things start to settle down. Now that may or may not be the case for you, just follow what happens next. So you might find that that uh, sensation tightens or it becomes a different sensation, just keep tapping on the points and follow it as it moves through the different kinds of feelings in the body. Now if you're not aware of a feeling in the body, what are you aware of that constitutes your problem? Do you have a thought that's disturbing you? Do you have a memory that's disturbing you? Is it something somebody did that disturbs you? Just focus on whatever you're aware of that lets you know that you have a problem that's, that's worth tapping for. Uh, so let's say somebody did something to you yesterday and when you think about it, it really upsets you. Just focus on what happened and just tap on the points. And if you are a kind of visual thinker and you have a visual memory, then you might have a kind of movie of what happened and you can play that movie through while you're tapping on the points. Or maybe you have some thoughts going through your head like that person is a silly so-and-so, that person's really ridiculous, they shouldn't have done that. Just think those thoughts while you tap on the points. Just focus on whatever you're aware of that constitutes a problem. And as you do that, you might find that um, different things come up, different feelings come up in your body, the feeling moves to different parts of your body, um, as you're tapping on one memory, another memory comes up, which seems like it's not related. Just follow whatever comes and just continue the tapping process. And we basically have a, a concept we call acceptance tapping, which is where you just accept what's there and you go with what, whatever's there. So let's say, for example, I started with tapping on my chest. And I'll do that because I well, kind of do have a little bit of constriction there. So I'm just putting my attention on that area. And once again, I start to relax as I do. Now, notice I've got my hand here. Sometimes it helps to put your hand on the area where you have the problem. So if you have a, a feeling in your stomach, you can put your hand on your stomach. If you have a feeling in your chest, you can put your, your hand there. Um, if it's a feeling up here, you can put your hand here and just tap. Don't have to put your hand there. You can just tap and focus on whatever you're aware of, whatever that problem is. And as I tap, and I have the attention on my chest and the feelings in my chest, I can just notice what that does. At the moment, it's just kind of continuing to open up and I'm able to breathe better. And this is typical of most um, small issues and problems. You know, this is not a, obviously not a big thing. I've got a little bit of tension and it starts to release as I'm doing the tapping. Now, if it's not releasing or nothing is shifting, now I'm going to go and I'm going to go from the feeling to the thought. So I might actually focus on that, that uh, feeling and just think, okay, what thought goes with this feeling? And as I put my attention on that feeling, the thought comes, I have too many things to do and not enough time to do them. So I just do the tapping 
and I'm focusing on I have too many things to do and not enough time to do them in. And I'm keeping my attention on that thought and then I'm going to notice what happens. And as I think that thought, again, that kind of tunes me into that issue. And as you notice, I again start to relax a little bit more. Now, the key is to keep the tapping happening. As long as you have time to work on an issue, you can keep working through all the different parts and pieces of it until you feel completely that that issue is resolved. All right, enough for now. See you next time.